How are we doing today, guys? Thank you once again for joining me on Viper 9 Toy Videos. Today, I have, as you can see here, the new Mandalorian's N1 Starfighter from the Star Wars Vintage Collection. Uh, this one is from the Mandalorian series. I think this is technically the back of the box. This is the front. No, I think, I don't know. They, they make the fronts and the backs identicals anymore. But you know what? Let's go ahead and get this guy out of the box so we can go ahead and take a look at it, shall we? Go ahead and get that tape cut there. And then we will, maybe we will. Oh my goodness, come on. Almost there. Oh, there we go. Whew. That did not want to come out of the box. There you go, Geek Viper. That's for you. There's the instructions I'm going to be reading. Go ahead and get this Din Djarin figure out of there. Okay. So I was curious about what it was in there, but it's his Vibro knife. So he comes with his blaster, dark saber Vibro knife, the Beskar spear, his jetpack, soft goods cape. So unfortunately, I will be doing a separate video on this guy just because on my wide panoramic view to, to do this video, um, I don't get very good focus on this, so we can't see a lot of the detail on what this figure I have. So we'll go ahead and do a separate video on him. Uh, go ahead and if you don't like that, if you if you want me to take the risk, go ahead and leave in the comments for, for future references. Uh, that way I'll know what you guys prefer. If you have a preference of me, go ahead and doing it in one video or separate videos. That way, you know, feedback is always welcome. Oh, this has a lot of individual parts. This this is a lot more assembly than what I was honestly expecting for the N1. Because this is the fuselage. That is how the N1 comes. Right there. That is shocking to me. How many parts and pieces come separate on this, this vehicle. Like, even the wings. This is just going to be like the episode of The Mandalorian where they assemble this. Like, holy cow. I'm I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna play with that right now. I will worry about that when the camera is off. But so here is the N1. There's the flight stand. I think I could get that together without instructions, maybe. Ha! -ha! I like that. It's actually raised too, that's not just painted. That's pretty cool. So we will go ahead and open up these. The reason why I keep, you know, showing instructions and saying this one's for you, Geek Viper, is because uh, he's actually a friend of mine and he likes to give me a ration of crap in the comments on the videos on using the instructions on how to get things together. Because he hasn't seen my video, I think, of like the gelatinous cube that kicked my butt and getting the four-sided, you know, five, yeah, to get a cube assembled and how it did royally whoop me. I wonder what those are for. That's why I have instructions right there. Oh, it's just a hover stand. Oh, that is super cool. I did not know about that. That's a piece I legit did not know about. Go ahead and get out some more little bits and bobs here. Oh, that's the Grogu. So there's the Grogu. There is the little turbo thing that plugs into the front. Now, the one thing about the Grogu that I like... Oh, he's hard-casted. Okay, so it's the wee Grogu with the little, you know, shifter knob there. But he is... His arms... So he's two points of articulation. He has a ball-jointed head, and then his arms are hard-molded like that. So he can't put his arms down. I think he's going to be 100% unique to the N1, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, but I, I don't see them making that figure again. Especially where he is. It is kind of unique to the 
the fighter itself. There's some more glass bits, the dome, and the other piece of the sand. So yeah, the, the stand See, this is why I need instructions. Already, I tried putting that together backwards. So you have the flight stand. You have the, the flight stand here that the it ball joints into, or you have a landed stand that it also ball joints into. Except for I think, did I put that in? That way it, it hovers, makes it look like it's hovering. That is super cool. I dig that a lot, like a lot, a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over to the actual instructions. So you have the tail section. I thought I had the tail section here. Guys, what do I do with the tail section? Oh, it's right there. Ha ha. So you have the tail section and it pegs in uniquely. Ooh, but first you do have to put that in just like in the show. So you slide that in. Wow. Like just that detail right there alone. Completely unnecessary, but it's kind of cool. And it makes me wonder how well this will come back apart for like the scene in the episode where it shows them assembling the starfighter itself. That is super cool. And then you have, let's go ahead and get the wings on. Ugh. You have that one there. I am, I'm really digging this N1. I, I'm still a huge fan of the crest. Don't get me wrong. Don't come after me saying the crest is better. But this N1 is super is a super rad build so far. Like, look, it has removable compartments for the engine. It has this little this little like turbocharged thingy that pegs in a certain way right there on the front. <laughs> okay. Like so. Boom. And then you have Grogu's little area where he fits in and rides. So that will slide on like so. Then you can take the Grogu and it's actually pegged. That is a nice touch. So you can take... Let's go ahead and pop. Ooh, that's kind of soft rubber too. Actually take the Grogu. Have him doing the wee while he's in there. <laughs> oh, what about these two little parts? Where do these go? Oh, that's how the canopy opens. Oh, wow, look at that. It actually has a spot in back here for all of his weapons, for all of Din Djarin's weapons. Shows a spot even for his rifle, which gets destroyed in the Razor Crest, but it has a spot for the rifle. That is super rad and super random that it would have a spot for that, even though it got destroyed. Okay, so that goes there. Oops, we will talk about that in just a second. And then this goes over here. So there you have it. There is the N1 Starfighter. 
from the Mandalorian. So to get Din Djarin in, the actual entirety of the cockpit lifts up. And then that's how you get Din Djarin in. Oh, but the cockpit will move itself too. So you get that up or you can slide it forward. But it doesn't slide forward enough to actually get a figure down in. But you open this here and you can you can fit the figure in. Then it has the section back here for all of his weapons. You now once again you take a look at the, the instructions here. And see it has each designated little spot right there for all of like the jetpack and everything. That is super cool. I dig that a lot. Whoops. I'm knocking stuff down on Bib's throne. Which, if you haven't watched that video, go watch that video. That video, I feel like I did a pretty alright job for being at my first large play set. And I think I'm doing better on my large vehicles, too. So, one thing also that I want to talk about is you take this off right here, and then you have this bit here that pops on. And then it now, if you have... I don't know if this is R5. I'm pretty sure this is R5. But if you have the R5 Build-A-Droid, you can slide that on and boom! You have an R5. Or you have a droid assist navigation on that. Just like in the... in What was it? Season 3 of The Mandalorian. So you can either have the Grogu pod right there, or you can have a droid head. And what's really nice is it is universal build-a-droid parts to where you could put any of the Hasbro build-a-droids, the Disney build-a-droids, or anything of those types on this vehicle. Keep an eye out on my Instagram this holiday season for something special involving this. <laughs> Because I do have an idea. Let's go ahead and see real quick what it takes to put that. I like how easily that stand pops out. This one here does take a lot more effort to get it in. But it is also supposed to position on how you, you want to have it flying. So it does have to be a lot tighter to have that positioning. But, I, I like the addition of this stand. I'm not going to lie. The addition of that stand is pretty, pretty amazing. But there you have it, folks. There is the N1 Starfighter from the Mandalorian. I like how they keep the spots of the yellows on it. When I first saw this vehicle, I was like, oh, you know, yeah, they kept the spots of yellow on it because it was a yellow Naboo Starfighter. But then I looked at the Razor Crest. And the Razor Crest has a yellow stripe down it as well. So the Mando's vehicles are silver in body with yellow stripes on it. That's kind of his signature dealio, I'm going to say. So, uh, like I said, tune in to the next video for the Mandalorian N1 Starfighter. We'll go ahead and show the figure here. And then we'll probably show how he fits in the N1 with the... Uh, equipment and everything like that right there i'm going to go ahead and leave that with hit that like smash that follow if you haven't already go ahead and follow me on facebook and instagram and thank you for watching guys